Good evening. It is my pleasure to welcome you to the 2021 Honors College graduation ceremony. I am Karen St. George, the Administrative Director of the Honors College, and it is my honor to celebrate with you tonight. I am joined on stage by our special guests, Dr. Ann Bizantz, Dean of Undergraduate Education, Professor of Industrial and Systems Engineering and Honors College alumna, and by Dan Sparaza, Managing Partner and Founder of Hightower Lake Water and also a Distinguished Honors College graduate. Thank you both for joining us tonight. Welcome all Honors graduates, special guests joining us today, the Honors College staff, family and friends watching from home. Graduating from, graduating from college is a significant accomplishment and meant to be celebrated. We are all thrilled to be here today. Honors Class of 2021, it has been quite a journey. We have done our best to support and encourage you along the way. Over the past four years, you have challenged yourselves taking on rigorous coursework and participating in research, internships, part-time jobs, conference presentations, community service, and international travel. Your academic and co-curricular pursuits showcase your diverse interests and talents. We applaud you for stepping outside of your comfort zone. You have demonstrated that taking risks, regardless of the outcome, are true growth experiences. But there is more to your story. Together, you navigated your way through a global pandemic, quickly discovering what synchronous, asynchronous, hybrid, and high flex meant to you and your academics. You successfully mastered new and mostly unfamiliar ways of learning, literally overnight. You persevered. You proved to yourself and everyone else that under pressure, you would not only survive, but you would flourish. And you are here, and we couldn't be more proud of you. Tonight we celebrate you, the class of 2021, and all you have accomplished. To start tonight's ceremony, I invite Dean Bizantz to the podium. Thanks, Karen. So first of all, I'd like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to all of you, the UB Honors Class of 2021, as well as to all of your families. I'm so thrilled to see so many people here. It's, it's making me choke up, so I apologize in advance. Um, my name is Ann Bizantz. I serve as UB's Dean of Undergraduate Education, and I'm also a proud UB Honors alumna. So graduation is a joyful occasion, a time to celebrate your accomplishments, and this time your resilience in completing your degree in a time like no other. I share in the excitement that you and your many family and friends are experiencing. I also share in the concern, uncertainty, and in some cases sorrow that we continue to face together. Commencement is a time of new beginnings, gathering together and celebrating activities that have all been fundamentally changed over the past year. Throughout your time at UB, you've embraced an enormous variety of experiences. New roommates, challenging courses, and full parking lots, as well as all manner of internships, clinical rotations, and research projects. Sixteen months ago, you continued to work diligently as the world changed around you at unprecedented speed, and you were thrust into a world of screens, Zoom, and isolation. But you per persevered and succeeded. You are moving on to jobs and technology companies such as Facebook or Moog. Many of you plan to attend medical school or further your education in combined degree programs. You are writers, engineers, pharmacists, and artists, and you should be very, very proud. Honor scholars, you are graduating into a nation and a world that is wrestling with extraordinary problems in health, justice and equity, political divisions, and climate change. 
As daunting as these challenges may seem, I have confidence that you have the knowledge and preparation to take on these problems. Within your graduating class, students have participated in the annual Comparative Cognition Conference to present, this is really cool, research on dog cognition, uh, studied abroad in countries including Ireland, England, and Spain, presented an original research paper, Perceptions of Delinquency Among College Students and Non-Students, at the American Sociological Association Conference in New York City, participated on UB Division I athletic teams, and uh, one of your classmates served as the president of the National Black Law Students Association pre-law chapter at UB. Among a large number of awards and scholarships, you've received three SUNY Chancellor's Awards and a National Science Foundation Graduate Research Fellowship Award and honorable mention. Each of you has your own stories of achievement. The UB Honors College has distinguished alumni making differences around our country and the world. A professor of neurobiology at the Harvard School of Medicine, the CEOs of companies in fields as diverse as life sciences and space technology, a US Foreign Service officer, and the chief medical officer at Oshai's Children's Hospital here in Buffalo. As honors graduates, you are joining these ranks. You will be the people society calls on to solve whatever challenges come next in our collective future. The next few years will be full of change. New careers, new schools, new places, new homes, and new relationships. But graduation is a time which will always loom large in your life's milestones, even many decades of change later. I hope that you will always con continue to consider UB as one of your homes and know that we will always think of you as part of the UB Honors family. Congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you, Dean Bizance. I would now like to introduce tonight's first speaker, Marina Coriel. Marina Coriel grew up in a small town in the middle of the Finger Lakes in central New York and graduates tonight, summa cum laude, with a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, Political Science, and International Studies. During her time at UB, Marina has served as a teaching assistant, conducted her own research and thesis centered around sexual violence against women, and participated in a research lab concerning women's reproductive and sexual health. Alongside her academics and research, Marina has served as an executive board member of three different organizations. Through her position with UB Rotaract, Marina actively participated in and organized various service events around the community and on campus, in addition to helping charter and chair a social justice committee in her hometown. Marina also served as the vice president and president of UB's chapter of Phi Alpha Delta, a pre-law fraternity, and co-founded a chapter of the United Nations Association on UB's campus, continuing her commitment to serving the Buffalo community. Through Marina's dedication to social justice and service, she was the 2021 recipient of the Charles Haney Memorial Student Award. Over the past year, Maria, Marina has interned at the Buffalo Division of Human Rights and plans to continue her education in law school to become an international human rights attorney after taking a gap year to work as a paralegal in the Buffalo region. I invite Marina to the podium. Thank you for that introduction, and thank you all to coming here and joining us in celebrating the class of 2021. I knew the University at Buffalo would be the best home for me during my four years of undergraduate studies, the moment I stepped on campus for Accepted Students Day. Every detail of the day seems permanently etched in my mind, from the honor scholar who spoke at the opening ceremony in Alumni Arena, to the very first meal I ordered from Edgy Veggie in the Student Union. But what truly sold me on UB 
was the general atmosphere of the campus. Opting to take my own tour, I wandered around and found myself walking over to Baird Point, watching students lazily pass the Sunday in hammocks strung between trees, casually tossing a frisbee back and forth, enjoying the sunshine on Lake LaSalle and kayaks. The Office of Admissions couldn't have posed a more picturesque vision of campus life. I saw how easily I would fit into this space and knew that I was making the right choice. The Honors College also offered me an organic and opening community, and I'm sure my Honors peers can share similar stories. I joined the Advanced Honors College during my sophomore year after seeing all of the opportunity and camaraderie this program offers to students and knowing that it would offer me a space on campus to thrive. I fell into countless friendships, experiences, and in a and an environment that enriched my years here beyond measure. I found a second family with advisors providing parental-like mentorships and peers who felt more like siblings at times, sharing my enthusiasm for service and our education. We grew up here, trading cafeterias for the cellar and govs, playgrounds for alumni arena, until before we knew it, we were buying our first professional suit and then suddenly becoming Zoom experts in a matter of months. And we did all of that together. Sitting and reading in the Honors College introduced me to lasting friendships, and the Honors College gave me so many other gifts. It enabled me to start my very own organization on this campus with the help of my friends and helped send me abroad to fulfill a lifelong dream of studying in another country. But truly, I feel more accomplished and fulfilled when reflecting on all the immeasurable moments in between, laughing with future honors scholars during orientation sessions, grabbing coffee with an advisor just to catch up and enjoy a rare moment of sunshine in Buffalo, even reading over the weekly email highlights and learning everything that's going on on campus, these moments centered me in this community over the past four years, no matter what I was personally facing at the time. To all my peers here today awaiting their diploma, I feel your anxieties, your worries, your fears for the future. Let's be honest, graduating in 2021 almost feels like a punchline to a bad joke thinking about how uncertain and unsteady the future is. We've learned over the past year that there are no guarantees in life, that you need to be prepared for even the most radical of possibilities, like a global pandemic hijacking everything we thought we knew. But I would like to be the calm in the storm, reminding you exactly how the UB Honors College has already laid the foundation for us you are qualified, capable, and ready for your next steps. Everything you've done in the past four years here has given you that. Trust yourself and trust that the Honors College has fortified you with everything you need to go forward from here. All of the late night emails sent to our advisor asking for their help and input our internships or our work in research labs, our meetings with faculty, our tutoring, our club activities. It's all led us here. Today, we can sit back and acknowledge everything that the Honors College has taught us and how they have lifted us up to be both campus and future leaders in our respective fields. We were planted here years ago. The Honors College has nurtured us and until we started growing upwards and out, our roots gnarling deeper the whole time, keeping us grounded in where all of our careers started. Now, we stand before you, blossoming in full effect, feeling nothing but gratitude and eagerness to see exactly where we all grow from here. Thank you. Thank you, Marina. It is now time to recognize our graduates. Prior to the ceremony, students received an Honors College stole, which signifies completion of the Honors College curriculum while maintaining a minimum 3.5 cumulative GPA. 
Please hold your applause until the last graduate is recognized. Tyler Barwald. Kevin Carfley. Ray Hermans. Olivia Slotman. Hannah Angela Ferrari. Amy Favell. Emma St. Pierre. Katerina Semenova. Jacqueline Hannon. Nicholas Ciccarelli. Isabel Linares. Alexander Liu. Hannah Seppala. Jared Himes. Anthony Martino. Bethany Laufer. Taniqua Lawrence. Rahima Hussein. Jannat Hussein. Daniel. Pfeiffer. Jenna Vecchio. Anna Marie Malik. Robert Cordova. James Hinman. Alexis Banizak. Marina Coriel. <laughs> Isabella Clark. Catherine Marizak. Beatrice Bacon. Elena Wojciechowski. Valerie Bevan.
Eric Mountain. Austin Robar. Gabrielle Silverstein. Victoria Tripodi. Gianna D'Amico. Stephanie Stewart Hill. Abigail Grabowski. Lauren Heinzinger. Elena Carmen. Justin Page. Maxwell Prudhomme. Jonathan Stallone. Michael Orlovsky. Cecilia Shumsky. Margaret Denman. Samuel Kaplansky. Thomas McNamara. Cassiana Enderley. Nitya Morelli. Andra Sullivan. Nicholas Bork. Sarah Wagner. Krishna Menon. Lindsay Lassiter. Matthew Spink. Melanie Ragonies. Sherry Tan. Meredith Waddle. Maria Ministeri. Shane Leibach. Samantha Berry. Allison Beppel. Joanna George. Ryan O'Donnell. Nicholas Calabrese. Zachary Morrissey. Olivia Smeltzer Darling. Victoria Faltisco. Shreya Shrikant Lokkar. Christopher Barone. Lauren Jurz.
Jacob Brill. Matthew Pestinger. Matthew Taboni. Samantha Mosier. Lucas Sebe. Ariel June. Serena Strollo Desenzo. Juliana Goldsmith. Joseph Oppie. Keaton Mack. Michael Morgenthal. Sarah Mason. Marissa Lanyevsky. Emily Courtley. Andrew Jenick. Evan Spector. Hannah Latour. Anastasia Wilds. Joshua Borsakowski. Jacob Springborn. Ann Jones. Elizabeth Goldrick. Natalie Bruzzi. Sarah Internicola. Stephen Rechtenwald. Sarah Internicola. Clara Cook. Pranshu Teotia. Anthony Bassin. Nolan Minkst. Alyssa Taylor Ruminski. Anargia Das. Anna Lawrence. Eli Ermahayev. Emma Buckler. Finley Van Houten. Krista Beranger. Liam Orr. Madeline Bartz. Mariah Simone. Marissa Borini. Miriam Shafik, Meredith Seibold, 
Mong Yuan Sun. Nicole Waddington. Olivia Longhouse. Rachel Sudin. Regina Cooper. Rebecca Anderson. Sarah Golak. Tarun Kumar. Trinity Fitz. I'm going to give you the, uh, the chance for more applause. So family, friends, and special guests, both here with us today and watching from home, I now present to you the Honors Cl College Class of 2021. I would now like to call Jessica Seabury, Honors College Senior Assistant Director, to the podium to announce this year's winner of the Christopher Peterson Commitment to Service Award. I am pleased to present the Christopher Peterson Commitment to Service Award. This award is bestowed annually upon a graduating honor scholar who, by devoting their time, talents, and expertise to serving the public good, has made significant, demonstrable, and direct contributions to the community. Christopher Peterson was a dedicated member of the Honors College class of 2014, who tragically lost his life in a car accident on July 16, 2013. Through his enthusiastic participation in Griner Shared Interest Housing and his many other volunteer endeavors, Chris truly embodied the Honors College spirit of service. The intent of this award is to recognize yearly a student who exemplifies a similar commitment to community service. This year, the Christopher Peterson Commitment to Service Award goes to Joanna George. In her application essay, Joanna wrote, during this devastating pandemic, many volunteer organizations stopped their programs to limit human interaction due to health concerns. However, I strive to safely take matters into my own hands. I wanted to create a sense of compassion and community in my neighborhood during a devastating time. In addition to grocery shopping, cooking meals, and assisting with the health needs of her neighbors, Joanna also contributed by making masks for the homeless in Buffalo and in New York City. Joanna is the Vice President of the Public Health Club at UB, volunteers at Roswell Park Cancer Institute, and participated in an international service trip to Haiti. Joanna concluded her application essay with the following. Everyone has the ability to positively impact society and participating in community service is the first step toward creating a better future. We will be presenting Joanna with an award after the ceremony. Joanna, can you please stand at your seat to be recognized? Congratulations, Joanna. Thank you, Jessica, and congratulations, Joanna. I'm pleased to introduce tonight's second student speaker, Emma St. Pierre. Emma is from Binghamton, New York, and will be graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree in Exercise Science and a minor in Psychology. While a student at UB, 
Emma was the teaching assistant for both Honors Colloquium and Human Form and Function, served as the activities director of Honors Student Council, and participated as a student ambassador for both the Honors College and the Study Abroad Office. In addition to her involvement at UB, she also interned with UBMD Orthopedics in their physical therapy department. This fall, Emma will be continuing her education here at UB, pursuing her doctorate of physical therapy, and plans to work in sports medicine as a physical therapist. I invite Emma to the podium. Welcome everybody. And like Karen said, my name is Emma St. Pierre and I am so glad we're here and so honored to be speaking today. I wanna to first thank UB and the Honors College for making this possible. When I was applying to colleges, I remember my dad telling me that no matter what school I chose, there wasn't a wrong decision. That I'll make a home anywhere I go, that I'll find my way, and that I'll find my people. I believed him, and I'm sure he was probably right, but standing here thinking back on the whirlwind of the last four years, I know that it couldn't have gotten better than this. Despite coming here for an education, what we're leaving with is countless memories and lifelong friends. College is such a unique time where everyone is in exactly the same place. We navigate being away from home for the first time, and we study in libraries working for this moment, all the while becoming a family. Until suddenly, it's gone in the blink of an eye. One minute you're in your dorm room talking to this girl you just met who now sleeps five feet away from you, and the next your best friends are going to medical school or working for some big fancy software company all just a little too far away. And if you're anything like me, you sit back and think about how you got here, how you wouldn't be here if it weren't for those friends that never left your side. Two minutes after saying goodbye to my parents, move-in day, freshman year, I met a random group playing spike ball outside Gubs. They were all living in honors housing, and we quickly became best friends. We'd play intramural sports together, eat dinner together, stay in lecture halls studying until 4 a.m. together. The list goes on and on. We became inseparable. When I talk about how much I loved my experience in the honors college, I think of them. I can still remember the nights we would stay up discussing the most abstract things until the sun rose. Someone would be teaching someone else truth tables, there would be a side conversation about the ethics of the Stanford prison experiment, and eventually we'd get into a heated debate about whether artificial intelligence could actually rule the world. We were always talking about some idea, some concept, or something really deep. It was a cool environment that facilitated learning, one that I had never experienced before. Not only were we living in a huge building with a bunch of other 19-year-olds, but we were surrounded by some of the most brilliant people I had ever met, and we all learned so much from each other. And that's what college is all about, right? Not just absorbing information and skills in the classroom, but understanding each other, appreciating that we all come from different walks of life, and looking at things with an entirely new perspective. I became a more open-minded and accepting person because of them. So when I talk about how honors shaped me into the person I am today, I'm often talking about those friends I made along the way. But I'm also talking about the honors advisors and staff. For those interested in becoming involved, the Honors College had so much to offer. This was something really important to me from the start. And by becoming an honors ambassador, the activities director for our honors student council, and TAing for colloquium, 
I was able to form really close relationships with the honor staff, a group of people who genuinely care so much about their students, both academically and personally. They made time to meet with me during my panic, changing my major the first time, and also the second. They let me sit in their office venting when I thought my life was falling apart. They looked out for me when home was too far away. They became people we could depend on and were always there to talk if anybody needed to. And there aren't words to express how grateful I am for that. The Honors College gave us a community they gave us a family, and they gave us a home. And honestly, I still haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do without these people. But I know that this family we've created over the last four years is here to stay. I know we'll be rooting for each other every step of the way, even if our journeys lead us in completely different directions. The Honors College made sure we knew that we had a home here, and a home here we have. But like every beautiful thing, it comes to an end. This is just a launch pad. This is a launch pad toward the rest of our lives, toward our doctorate programs and first jobs, and toward the millions of memories we have yet to make. To the University of Buffalo Honors College, to Tim and Jess, Karen and Tim T, to Jessica and Allison, Darius and to Jonathan, to our parents, and to all of our best friends. Thank you for being our stepping stone. I know we'll make you proud. Here's to us, class of 2021. Good luck and horns up. Thank you, Emma. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dan Sparaza, tonight's alumni speaker. Daniel Sparaza is a managing partner and founder of Hightower Lake Water, a wealth management firm based in downtown Buffalo. Dan is also a founding partner of Lake Water Capital, an investment firm specializing in private fund management. Previously, he was a senior vice president and the director of fixed income research at Northern Trust Global Investments, Director of Fixed Income Research at Fleet Investment Advisors, and Director of Corporate Finance at Aetna. Dan earned his MBA from the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School of Business. He is an Honors College alumnus, having earned his BS in management at UB. An active member of the local community, Dan serves as a trustee and vice chair of the Investment Committee for the University of Buffalo Foundation. He and his wife, Karen, are the volunteer chair couple representing UB Athletics in the Boldly Buffalo campaign. Dan, please come to the podium to share your remarks. Thank you. Wow, this is terrific, and what a tough act to follow. Fantastic speech. Thank you, Dr. St. George. Dean Bizantz for inviting me to speak on behalf of nearly 40 years worth of honors alumni. As you said, I'm a 1988 graduate of what of UB and what was then called the Honors College, or sorry, Honors Program. Uh, tonight's honor, 2021 Honors Convocation um, was originally going to be kind of on videotape, so this speech was already videotaped, and I'm so thrilled that I could actually be here in person to deliver it to you. Uh, on such a special night, and what a beautiful night. So glad uh, we're not cold, we're not hot, um, just perfect. So a couple of years back when Conan O'Brien was here at UB for the Distinguished Speaker Series, he joked several times about how UB was the crown jewel of the SUNY system. That was his thing. Um, well, it is. Uh, and. It's actually one of the very best public universities anywhere. More importantly, though, you, our Honors College graduates, are the crown jewels of UB's student body. You were accepted into the Honors College because you had intellect, talent, great achievements in high school. And when you got here, you were given special privileges. 
And more notably, you were asked to do more than others to get where you are today. As you heard from others on the stage tonight, you did research, you did creative activities, you studied abroad, you served your community here in Western New York. Uh, the awards and achievements for which you are here are truly remarkable. And tonight we celebrate what you, our best and brightest, achieved not just in the classroom or on Zoom, but in the lab, on stage, on the playing field, and in our world. Congratulations, you're so deserving of the many accolades, particularly given the 14 months or so we've been through as a university community and as a society. The other commencement speakers you'll hear from this weekend will do a far better job than I can at inspiring you to go out into the world and do the great things we know you're all capable of. Tonight, I'll just share some brief personal reflections to put the Honors College experience into context. As a trustee of the UB Foundation, I spend a great deal of time and energy with my colleagues to try and be a good steward of the assets given in support of the university's mission for generations to follow, folks like you. It's personally very rewarding to me to know that the generosity of so many who have given to UB have, has been put to such good use by all of you, our Honors Scholars. When I graduated from UB, we used IBM punch cards to program mainframe computers. We actually would take them to that building right there. Um, and then a day later, you'd go back and get a dot matrix printout and see if you actually did your work correctly or if you got a big error message. Uh, we typed our term papers on typewriters. Uh, I got my first job out of UB, and I was given an IBM PC. We had software like Lotus 1, 2, 3, and WordPerfect. And if you don't know what those are, ask your folks. Uh, we didn't even have corporate email quite yet. It was a couple years away. Uh, today, we all have one of these, a smartphone. In the last 30 or so years, we've been enabled by technology in, very unimaginable, in ways that were very unimaginable back then. Um, what you needed to be smart in 1988, you can pretty much figure out with one of these in about two seconds. But then I, I got to Wall Street and you know, just like the world is moving fast today, it seemed like the world was moving really fast then. Uh, and I learned very quickly, as you will in the coming weeks and months, that part of being smart is knowing what you don't know. I needed to keep learning. I needed to get in early, stay late, and most importantly, be humble enough to seek advice and mentorship from others. Do those things. Stay a lifelong learner. The world is moving faster than ever, but remember, also learn interpersonal skills. Put this down every so often. I see you all did it tonight, which is great. Look people in the eye and get to know others on a face-to-face -face basis, not just through social media and the ways we've become so accustomed to doing in, in recent times in particular. My advice, my request, is that you stay close to your friends and mentors here at UB whether you go on to graduate or professional school, embark on your career, travel the world, return to your hometown, or make your home here in western New York, it's worthy of just putting a pin on the map, Buffalo. Remember, please come back, in person or in spirit. You've all been given great gifts of intellect, talent, and a world-class education. Yes, pursue your goals and dreams, but also remember that to whom much is given, much is expected. I've been fortunate enough to have great mentors in my career and in my life. None of them ever asked for anything in return. The only thing they ever wanted was that whatever I was given, that I try to give it on to somebody else and pay it forward. It's the most satisfying reward you'll ever have for your success. So. Try, devote some of your time, your treasure, and your talent to others. And you can start with mom and dad or whomever in your life may have been instrumental in getting you here tonight. They have shared in your struggles more than you know. Um, and I can tell you that firsthand because I have three in college, well, two graduating this month and one halfway through. And it, it is definitely a shared experience to knowing what you all have been through, especially in the last year. 
In 1988, when I graduated, the world had 5.1 billion people. Today, there's nearly 8 billion people, a 50 plus percent increase. The pressure to survive, thrive, do good things for others will be more intense than it was for me, for, as it will be for you as it, than it was for me. But remember, a diamond is only a lump of coal until it's put under extreme pressure. Given the pressures you have already endured, particularly in the past year, I'm confident that you, UB's crown jewels, will shine brightly as better times return. Congratulations again on behalf of the entire university community, and go Bulls. Thank you, Dan. Once our ceremony has concluded, please stay seated until the guests on stage have exited the tent. The Honors College staff will then direct graduates to leave through the student check-in area. Once all the graduates have exited, guests will be directed to the back of the tent and leave through the guest check-in area. I would like to take a moment to thank the Honors College staff for their efforts in making this ceremony a success, especially Jonathan Freifeld, our Honors College graduation coordinator. Graduates, I would now like to offer you an opportunity to thank your family and friends, as well as UB and Honors College faculty and staff for their guidance, support, and unwavering commitment to your success. Graduates, please stand and offer a round of applause for everyone who has helped you arrive at this moment. Class of 2021, you are now UB Honors College alumni and join a group of over 4,000 Honors graduates living and working around the globe. We hope that you stay in touch with us and with each other. We will miss you, but this isn't goodbye. On behalf of the Honors College and the entire UB community, congratulations and best of luck in all your future endeavors. This brings the 2021 Honors College Commencement Ceremony to a close. Thank you all for participating in our ceremony. Congratulations, graduates.